It's a magical encounter between two pastry creams, the classic one and the chocolate one. Sponge cake soaked in a kermes liqueur to get a spoonful of dessert at the edge of greed. It's the ultimate meal. Today we'll prepare the zuppa inglese together. Let's start right away from the custard cream. It would be the basis of both our creams. In a small pan we immediately warm the milk. Then add to the cream too. In the meanwhile we'll take care of the vanilla. I'm going to carve the berry and with the back of the blade I'll extract the pulp. I'm going to save it for later. I'm going to dip the pulp instead. Separately in the bowl let's pour the egg yolks, then the seeds, then sugar and mix immediately. It is important to work them quickly, because when sugar, man, this also happens with salt, touches the yolks, it absorbs its water, so it makes the proteins insoluble. I added the starch I've already sifted, mixed and incorporated it well, and I can dilute everything with a nice ladle of warm cream and milk. Let's get the port back first. Let's mix it and pour it into the pot. And let it cook at my temperature and let in the cream thicken by stirring constantly. The cream is ready. I'm gonna go to the counter and separate it into two balls. This one is the classic cream, and I'll keep it aside for a moment. In this one, I'll add the chocolate that I've already crumbled. I take advantage of the fact that the cream is still warm, and this way the chocolate melts immediately. Even the chocolate cream is ready. I just have to cover them, both with contact film, and let them cool down. The creams are warm. Here I have a sponge cake that I made following Giallo Zafirano photo recipe, where you can also find the video recipe that, guess what, I made myself. Now I cut it into vertical slices of about one centimeter. We chose to use the sponge cake to make the English sponge cake, but being a recovery cake, it can imply other versions too. For example, you could use some finger biscuits or pasta biscuit, and then you can cut out according to the glasses you are going to use. And by the way, let's see how to put it together. I'm going to cut out the sponge cake according to the size of the glasses. I soak the sponge cake with the alchemies, it is the typical liqueur to wet our cake. It will make it red and scented. A layer of chocolate cream and a layer of classic cream. A quick hint, if your cream becomes too thick, just dilute it with a few drops of milk. I tap under the glass to level and repeat the layers. Finally level the surface. First glass is ready. Now go ahead with all the others, after which I will put the glasses in the fridge. Let them rest for a couple of hours. A sprinkle of bitter cocoa and the dessert is finally ready. I'm going to leave here below the link to the photo recipe on Giallo Zafirano, where you'll find ingredients, doses and step-by-step -step instructions. If you liked this video, please like it. And if you have any questions, write them in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe immediately to Giallo Zafirano channel to be updated on all news. This recipe made you hungry. Cook it yourself and then let me know.